gosh, I'm here. I'm back. It's happy Sunday. I know some people don't like Sundays. Your weekend is almost over. My weekend is almost over. Not really. I work week. My weekend starts tomorrow at 7. That's okay. I enjoy my work. So that's okay. So we are playing 999. I enjoy it. And we are continuing. We are doing one of the special ends. There are three special ends. That's what we're doing right now. I heard not annoying. Uh, well, to be honest, I don't know. Press one of the, some of the buttons and smack the machine. Nothing happened. Oh, looks like the coin got stuck. Okay, try the middle one. Alright, let's drop. Come on, you little bastards. I only need one of you. Yeah, look at that. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I have to spin for Seven, seven. Yes! Seven, seven, seven! Look at that! And I think I hear something unlocking it. Impressive, Junpei. You would appear to be unlocked now. There's something akin to a drawer in the bottom part of this machine, yes? That is a pickup drawer for dividends. Probably the lock for the drawer got unlocked. Please open it. It is. Is there something in there? Yeah, a playing card, and this... A key with the Venus symbol on it. Excellent! Okay. Of course I'm gonna quit well ahead. Now we'll be able to open the gate. And we just need to figure out how to get out of this... Next. Come on, Junpei, hurry up! And he's off. There's a playing card and a Venus. Better put the key in my pocket for later. As for the card... Go two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I know where to get the eight. Bakarat! Ah, Bakarat. You ever played Jubei? Jubei? No, no not, not never. Yes, we have. We played in the last, last time we were in here. All right, then. How about I explain the rules to you? See, Baccarat is kind of an unusual game. You've got the banker and the player. The whole point is that you guess which one's going to win. And whether the banker or the player wins, it all depends on their hands. The way each hand works is different from other games, too. See, you take the number from the ones place after you add up the value of all your cards. Yes, I have, actually. Florida is famous for its casinos. Florida, uh, Missouri, because of the Indian Reservation. Although, I've only played the slot, the penny slots. If you're on an Indian Reservation, See, technically, except in certain places, gambling is not legal. But if you're on an Indian reservation, those laws don't apply. So in, that's how Indian reservations get a lot of their money, is by gambling. So you can go on an Indian reservation and I've only actually played penny slots, and I only take a little bit of money, so that if I lose it, it's not that big of a deal. And I usually lose it. <laughs> the house always wins. Whoever gets the number closest to nine wins. If your number is smaller than your opponent's, you lose. That's it. That's the explanation. Got it? It's actually more fun than it looks. But that's why people get addicted. Because it's fun. Well, actually, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, details, that sort of stuff. But what I just told you sums up the core of the game pretty well. The single digit of the sum of all the cards you have. The strongest hand is a nine. The weakest hand is a zero. You, you just ignore, ignore the number of the 10 spot. Do you get it? Uh, yeah. Well, well maybe half of it. Enough. I, I got, got a chance at winning the game if I play now. However, we, we have no way of knowing if the puzzle in the Baccarat table makes use of those rules. And, and if it does, in, in what manner? Then I guess we try everything. Oh, same with poker? Oh, poker's fun. Although Hubby's been playing, uh, not Euchre. Hey, Knuckle. Oh, it is rigged against you. Yeah, 
It's addictive if you. It... In fact, what the hell else would? Ah, stop worrying about it. Real simple. What's the opponent's hand? Well, there's an eight in that glass case. All right, then that's your opponent's number. If that's the case. What three cards do we need to get that number? Three cards. There are a couple of indentations with white lines around them, right? That means we gotta pull down three cards. So, I gotta do, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Something tells me those aren't the only ones. All right, let's give it a shot. Before I start, I better make sure I got the rule. There are three empty indent. I just gotta pick a card and play it. I figure if I put them in the right spot, something ought to happen. All right, let's try. Cars. Yes! Open for me! Hooray! You did it, Junpei! Now that was luck, I, I guessed. Because I remembered what makes nine with the cards. Rather than trying to make a... You know... I just did a simple nine. Yes, we were actually talking about that before uh, last night. Not this morning because I was sleeping this morning. <laughs> no, we were talking about it at lunch. That's when we were talking about it. I think it's telling us to take the eight card. Come on, let's grab it. All right, let's take this card. Oh, I just missed it. He is free. As to what we're gonna play, that's a totally different. All right, let's give it a shot. There's only one card that'll fit there. In you go, hey, it opened right up. Seems like we have another de device to contend with, right? There are three slots in this one. Let's see, three slots for cards. There's a nine right before. Like what we did at the back run. Well, we only have three cards. So. So I'd say. They make nine. All right, so I put all the cards that we had left into the box. What happens now? That, yes, I did hear something from the exit. Excellent work, Junpei. Wonderful. Seems that the exit is unlocked. Let's go. All right, let's go. If you play it in person, then play it digitally. This, this way. way. The keyhole with the Venus, Venus symbol. The Venus key should work here. It sounds like it did. All right, let's get this thing open. No problem. Let me help with this one. It sounds as though you have opened it. We should be able to reach C deck now, I imagine. Snake, uh, are you gonna be all right? I mean, the stairs. Please, do not do yourself the embarrassment of underestimating me. I would be unlikely to trip even if I were running backwards. <laughs> I love Snake. He's gotta be my favorite. Good to hear. Let's move. 
everything, everything looks, looks okay, okay here. here. We, we should, should check, check the next deck down, down just in case. case. Just, just what, what I thought, D-Deck deck is completely underwater. underwater. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. I'm just, just glad, glad the water, water level hasn't changed much. Back to the sea deck, then. Now, how, how about we check out what's here? There are two elevators over there, which means it's probably the same upstairs. There's a card reader between them. And another weird mark. Hey, uh, check, check it out. out. Nope. It's the symbol for Lotus. What? See? <laughs> it's, it's got, got the woman symbol, and, and then it's got, got the devil horns, horns. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see it! No two ways about it! That was a pretty good one, kid. No! Oh, whoa! Would you watch it, man? Whoa! That hurts! You're gonna break my neck. No, they did not hit an iceberg. The human, human body ain't that weak. <laughs> Maybe this will <laughs> top you up, huh? <laughs> we, we were looking for a devil. We've, we've got, got one right here. here. This, this is a mercury symbol. symbol. The marks you mistook for horns are a stylized version of the wings and staff of Hermes. Wings and a staff. Huh. So then... She beats you with the staff until you die and go to heaven. Sounds, Sounds like Lotus, Lotus alright. <laughs> <laughs> Seven! Oh, that's too much! Oh, my head! Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Unless we can activate this device, I doubt the elevator will function. That's still funny. In other words, we gotta find a key card with a mercury symbol on it. Have some, some kind so of I would assume. Let's, Let's forget, forget the elevators for right now. now. How about that hallway to the left? That's a little kinky. <laughs> Whoa, there's, there's a, a bunch, bunch of doors. Ah, oh, shit. We're not, not gonna, gonna have enough time, time to check all these, are we? Maybe, Maybe we can come back, back here later. later. We, we should check out the other side. side. Let's, Let's head, head back. back. The right, right this time. time. <sighs> there are doors here too. <sighs> well, I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them up, starting with the closest one there. Okay, I'm, I'm on it. Huh? It, it isn't locked. locked. I'm, I'm going, going to open it. it. Hey, what... What, what is, is this place? place? It's so, so huge... and empty. Oh, there are beds everywhere. Is this a hospital? The harsh scent in the air is reminiscent of antiseptic solution. I think so. There are shelves in the center of the room with medicine and surgical tools. Hey, look, look there. there. The four, four doors, doors at the end. The left door says three. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. Three, seven, and eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Hey, why is that door between three and seven blank? Does that mean anything? No, no point worrying about, about it right now. now. Let's, Let's see, see if these will open first. Yeah, good, good idea. idea. You should know better. <sighs> yep, locked. Just, Just like, like I thought. thought. 
naturally. After all, there are rules to the nonary game, and to allow these doors to open easily would violate those rules. Unless we can authenticate ourselves with the red, the numbered doors will... Whoa, whoa, check, check this out. out. Look, Look at the red. red. There's, There's nothing, nothing on it. Huh? <laughs> Don't, Don't you remember, remember the red back at the main staircase? staircase? If, if there, there wasn't, wasn't anyone in it, it said vacant on the little screen, screen remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. right. But this one... There's, There's nothing. nothing. Right? You think it's broken? Only one way to find out. No, nothing. How about the red on door seven? And door three? I didn't think all of them would be malfunctioning. That's weird. What does it mean? First, what it means. They've, They've got to be broken. broken. Man, that bastard. I didn't think Zero was the kind of guy who'd screw around with something like this. Whoa, whoa. Zero's been prepared for everything so far, and you're saying he's going to make a mistake now? Nope. Don't think so. Well, that's the only thing I can think of. This thing ain't working at all. Hmm. It seems as if some of the internal hardware has been removed. Internal hardware? That is what I said. Take a look at the underside of this red, if you please. The bottom? Huh, there's a thin slot here. I think it's a slot or something. Uh, probably electronic. The other two reds are the same. Something's been removed from all three of them. I get it. So the reds aren't working because somebody pulled out their guts. So I assume. How? But why? You notice and the doors are locked. I mean, it really doesn't make sense. I have no idea. Why on earth would I know something like that? Oh, uh, what now? June! Ace! Santa! Clover! And Lotus! Yes, everyone's here. What are you guys doing? Why are you... That smile line? Perhaps we should exchange information. That's what we know. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. What about that big hallway? Maybe there's somewhere in there we might be able to go. No, there's nothing there. The five of us had a quick look. Quick look? There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. You mean all those doors are for hospital rooms? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. Of course it was. It had one of those solar system mark things on it. It was the Jupiter symbol. Jupiter. I wonder what it means. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? Double audio? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. The Gigantic? What is this gigantic? Okay. The gigantic. 
She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. Actually, the Titanic Look had two dokey. sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War I began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy took her over and made her a hospital ship. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. Hey, Birdie! The drama turned him into some He's kind of right. obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself. Which was impossible, of course. It's stuck at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> but the Gigantic wasn't. And seeing as she was identical... So you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? Yeah, at least I think I am. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Pipe down, just pay attention. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof? Proof that this ship is really the gigantic. Well, uh... This ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic and a hospital ship. So, I just figured... Oh, for goodness. Don't tell me that's your only reason. No, I, I've got more. Like? Well, uh, I mean, I don't know. Oh, I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah, sorry about that. It's going well. I think we'll get through it today. Huh. A bell. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. 10, 11, 12, huh, 12. It's midnight. Yeah, you might see Luna. Today. It's midnight. Then we've still got six hours left, right? Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room. But we haven't found anything. Right. That only oh. leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. Uh-huh. Uh, wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Well, you already checked some of them out before you came here, right? You'll understand. We each checked a single room, so five rooms in total. All right, then. That's five rooms we don't have to search. <sighs> we just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. There are 48 other rooms? Uh, maybe? <sighs> All right, so everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah, sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. If we get that far, then you'll meet her. If not, well... I hope we can find them within the time limit. If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. 
Right. Then let's do this. It's one. I better get back to the others. doing over there he was the what last happened, to get guys? back jumpy look vacant <sighs> come on guys who was it i thought we were supposed to yell if we found it well what the hell what is up with you guys well that's the thing we don't know or at least, they're not saying no. When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but... The missing parts were already back in the red. What? Let me see. You're right. It's in there. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. Of course he doesn't trust anybody. It's just as you said. Alright, I, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Correct. None. <sighs> huh. Wait a minute. Where's Snake? Does that mean that he found them? I've no idea. There's nothing to suggest it. But nothing to suggest he didn't either. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he gets around in the first place. He does have sass, I'll give her that. No! That's impossible! Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing! He can get around as well as anyone who can see! So he... He couldn't get lost! That's impossible! <laughs> I'm gonna go look for him! Hey, uh, hold on, Clover! Wait! Well, that didn't work. Damn it. What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. No! We're not leaving two people behind! We should go look for them! Oh, man. This ain't good. Oh, yes. What an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more by looking for a couple of idiots. Then remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. We've only five hours left. <laughs> let's split up. All right, I'll take this direction. No, I don't get an option. One. I'll be over here. Let's see you all later. All right, we should go too. Yes, let's go. But where should we start? Let's see. Oh, what about the first-class cabin on B-Deck? Okay, let's go, Jumpy. There's Clover. Are you all right? <laughs> Look, I know you're really worried, but... Um... Clove. Clove. Hmm? Uh, 
Um. Why are you still here? Did you hear me? Uh. Huh? Fine. Forget it. If you aren't gonna leave, then I'll just. All right. Let's go, June. Uh, yeah. <sighs> we found her. <sighs> we really need to find Snake, for Clover's sake. So, uh, where do you think we should go next? How about the casino? Let's go take a look. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. I don't think that's the problem. Oh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you two. Care to hear it? No, that's all right. Let's go, June. Was that okay? You don't think we should have listened to her? No, uh, I, I've got a pretty good idea what her proposal would have been. We should be looking for Snake. Huh. Well, where should we go next? We know what her proposal would have been. Hey, why don't we go back to the big hospital room? Sure, let's go. Hey, wait, that's... Santa? What did Jimpe do? What are you doing? What? You can't tell? I'm checking out the red. Why? Is there something bothering you? What? It's not bothering you? Huh? This... the guts of this red. Why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back in here? Yeah, that's true. Well, I'm curious too, but... Who do you think did it? I don't know. Well, what about you, Junpei? Who do you think fixed this thing for us? Who do you think did it? He said zero before, so either Snake or Lotus. Seems like it would have to be Snake, wouldn't it? Maybe he got back here before any of us. He found the parts somewhere, put them back, and then went through one of the numbered doors. No, it's not possible. You have to authenticate with at least three people, or the Red won't open the door. There's no way a single person could get through there by themselves. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. So, in other words, one of us is the person who fixed the Red. Bingo, we have a winner. But if that's true, then the person who did it doesn't want the rest of us to know that they fixed it. Yeah, but why? No idea. Maybe if they can clean on that, it means we'd find out something else. Something bad. Something bad? Dunno. But whatever it is, it's gotta be worth hiding. Hmm. Of course, it could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. You think maybe they did something to Snake? Yeah. <sighs> Look, if you trust anybody in this game, you're gonna lose. You gotta be careful. The person you trust the most could turn out to be the one who stabs you in the back. And that's that, I guess. <laughs> Where would they go next? We're gonna finish. We've looked at all the options before. Snake hasn't been anywhere we've searched. And we can't keep looking for him. Wherever he is, it's not here. We need to get moving. We don't got a choice. Lotus is right. We're not gonna find Snake. There's a problem, though. We've gotta figure out who's gonna go through which door. Yes, I have a proposal. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? Sacrifice? Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yes. You've all figured it out by now, haven't you? We can't all make it through those doors. If we split into two teams of four and three people respectively, then three people will be left behind. 
if we split into two teams of five and two people respectively, then two people will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. Leaving behind three people with He was right. Then, you're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind. Yes, we do. Given our circumstances, it's logically and morally the best solution. If the other six are to survive, then one person has to sacrifice themselves. No, that's too cruel. What's so cruel about it? To, to just sacrifice someone like that? Then what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I, I told you, that's impossible. Wake up! Whoa, whoa, calm down, you two. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is, you should aim to bring the greatest amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? Hi, Ball Bounces! It's been quite a while since I've seen you. How are you doing? Trucking along? I'm great. We've been having all sorts of fun. Exactly. That's how democracy works. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is through a vote. What do you think? No! That's terrible! I'm not asking you, shut up! What about you, Santa? Me? Well, I agree, I guess. Alright, that's one vote for. Counting mine, that's two. Oh, hanging out with your dad? That's good. Seven. I can't say I agree with you, but we don't exactly have a choice. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die. Glad to see you get. If I can get one more vote, then it's decided. What about you, Clover? Uh, hey, Clover. Your brother has to be behind one of the numbered doors. We've searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Uh, let's go look for him together, okay? If we sacrifice one person. Then we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? Okay. <laughs> the motion carries. Oh yeah. Now let's start a vote too. That won't be necessary. I will stay. That should solve our problem. Yes. Uh. Uh. <sighs> Ace. What are you saying? No, you can't do that. That won't solve anything. June, I'm afraid you may have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I, I never am said on the I ship would sacrifice dreams. myself. Huh? I trust you, each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's optimistic, and then there's just nuts. Those doors only go one way. You go Get in, treat, you Pando. don't come out. If we go through them... You won't be able to return, correct? Yeah. It's as True. big as the Titanic. But that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Please, I beg you. Once you've escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way we could get back in time. We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we going to find someone to come and rescue you? Then, perhaps you would prefer to oh, stay wow. instead of me? 
Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind? You see, there's no other choice. Then I see we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go, quickly. Uh... Let's accept his kind offer, then. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. It may be my age, but I get tired so easily these days. Well, what are you waiting for? We're wasting time. Why don't we hurry it up? You're right. We should get going. That's all we can do right now. Seven? Seriously? Honestly, I was getting kind of sick of listening to you guys talk. You too, Santa? I... I have to find my brother. W wait All of you! Let's just calm down and think about this. There has to be a way to get everyone out. There has to be. I love you. Right, Jumpy? Say something. Yeah, let's think. There's gotta be another way. Fine. Forget about it. I'll figure it out on my own. Ace! Come on, Ace. Please stand up. You can't give up yet. We just have to sit down together and think about this. We'll figure out a way that we can all get out of here. <sighs> Ace! What happened? Ace, say something. I'm all right. How are you I all read... right? This. A syringe? Soparil Beta. What does this do? Did... did you use this? Yes. It's just... anesthetic. I'll be fine. I am anesthetic. sitting. She is standing. I found it earlier. While we were searching the... hospital rooms. I thought it might be useful... later. I didn't think I'd be using it on myself. Why did you do this? Didn't I tell you? I'd like to take a nap. I really am very tired. Hi, guys. Ace. Hmm? Is there something you want to say? Yep. I'd just like to sleep a little. Could you? Keep it down. No, don't, Ace. Don't fall asleep. Ah, you feel warm. So comfortable. I think I'll have a nice dream. Ace! Ace! <sighs> uh, let's get him up on a bed. Well, we really don't have a choice now. We can't let his sacrifice go to waste. <laughs> right? From little Doesn't guardsmen, huh? That. You say something? No, nothing. Yeah, but we're not done choosing yet, are we? Oh. Huh? What do you mean? Well, we haven't decided who's going in what door. Yes, that's true. Enough of this screwing around. Let's decide. You first, Lotus. It Which sure door is going to have a Titanic finale. I, um. I want door number eight. It's the same number as my bracelet number. Got it. You're eight. You're next, seven. Which one do you want? I'll take seven. I can't get along with that old lady. <laughs> What? What did you just say? Who, me? I, I didn't say nothing. Oh, 
you're gonna get it next time. Alright, who's next? Junpei, which door do you want? We want door number eight. I... I... I think I'm gonna go with door eight. Okay, eight it is. Yeah. Alright then, that means June's gotta go through seven. What? Why? What? If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind... Yeah, we'll definitely finish there are only the game three today. Ways we can do it. Why are we going through eight? Well, three, now we're trying five, to get through special ending. Through seven. And four, six, and seven go through eight. Four, five, and seven go through seven. So this I'm actually three, using a guide six, for. and eight go through eight. Or three, six, and seven go through seven. And four, five, and eight get eight. We've already done where, you know. There are no other combinations. In other words, Three and four, and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Oh no. You're saying we aren't going to see each other again for a long time. Uh, uh, hey, come on. You're making it sound the like chat we're band never will play see each on. It's alright, we'll have but we'll have definite conversations that y'all will be able to ch This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Because there's three regular endings yeah, and three special probably. endings. Probably. And I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. makes you think so if they don't then neither team can get through door nine in other words the game would end right here zero's been on top of his shit so far i don't think he'd blow it now i'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible He's not gonna end this. Oh, we've already we got the, the first nine. three endings. So now we're just getting the full endings. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. We're, we're gonna see each other again. I promise. Yes. Promise. <sighs> you guys are done, right? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. Figure I'll take seven and Clover can take eight. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. All right, we're ready to go then. Let's move. Let's move. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Then shall we go? It's open. Okay. Hurry! Okay! <sighs> June. Jumpy. What the hell are you doing? I know. 81 seconds left. Hurry! Yeah. <sighs> Oh, it stopped. Pointless. <laughs> what an unpleasant girl. I bet she's not very popular with the boys. Hmm, maybe pairing these two together was a mistake. Yeah. Lotus has no time for... Too late now. I better catch up to them. Ah, oh, it's a dead end. There's a door on the left, though. A laboratory? Huh. Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. I don't like the look of this place. Me either. 
But there aren't any other doors. It's not like we have a lot of choices. Which one was this? I don't remember. Junpei. Huh? Please, you first. Ugh, fine. Ah, uh, yes. You know, I think the window looks into another room. Maybe it's for monitoring something. Uh, what the hell? yeah. Ugh, it looks so creepy. It's kind of like that doll is waiting for surgery. This is a laboratory, right? I'd say it's more like it's waiting to be experimented on. Ooh, uh. It's creepy either way. Don't think that thing's gonna suddenly sit up or something, do you? It's Frankenstein's monster! Oh, I don't know. I mean, look at all those cables sticking out of it. If we press the wrong button, I don't know. <sighs> Stop it. Just thinking about it is terrifying. Wait, where's Clover? <laughs> what is she? Are you okay? What are you talking about? What? I'm just worried about you. You've been real quiet. What? I can't be quiet if I want to? Well, I mean, of course you can. I, I just... Okay, then. If I can be quiet if I want, just leave me alone, okay? Come on, you know I can't do that. We gotta work together. Junpei, you just don't get it! My brother's not the kind of person who just leave me behind! Something happened to him! Something... something bad. Yeah. What happened? Trying to convince me to play on PC. Look, just don't bother me, okay? Leave me alone. Hey, wait! Clover! Hold on! That way is... I told you to leave me alone! Clover, watch out above you! <laughs> try it out on Steam. I've got a lot of games to try out on heck? Steam. What's going on here? Hang on. I I'll get it open. Oh, for crying out. You'll never do it on your own. Damn it! It's not moving. Wait! Are you gonna give up? Just like that? No, I'm not giving up. This has got to be another one of Zero's puzzles. If it is, then there's got to be a way to open it. Just what I was thinking. Now all we got to do is find it. Lotus and I can look around out here. Clover, you're going to have to see if you can find anything in there. Oh, yes, I'm on it. Uh... Before you do that, let me see if I actually own it. Before you go into Get it from my main account. Hmm. All right, See if I can do this in record time. Oh, I can run it. If I can run Dragon Dogma 2. Lincoln was shot today as well. Yeah, well. I think this thing is a monitor for whatever experiment they were running here. 
There's a bunch of stuff on here like resistant val value and power's off, so there's nothing on it right now. Is this like an examination table? There's a creepy mannequin in here, guys. I don't know what kind of table it this is, but part of it's all black. The pen lying over I think someone probably used it to make the table black. Well, if they only use the pen on one part of it, there's probably something underneath all that pen. Clover, do you think you can erase it? Yeah, sure. Oh, this is permanent marker. Jinpei, do you know how to erase ink from permanent marker? Erase ink from permanent marker. Hey, just this minute. I wonder what this is. This thing here looks like a voltameter. And this is the control for that. Gosh, there's so many dials. Why don't you try turning one of them? Uh, nope, nothing. No power here, guys. Turn the dial a whole bunch, but even if I turn all the switches on, nothing happens. I wonder if they eat washed here. There are these weird colored stains all over the Is there anything unusual about the machine? Well, I don't know, you know. There are a bunch of cords hanging from the bottom of it. Geez, this is a lot of cords. It looks like they all go over here into the mannequin's head. The device and the mannequin are connected. What the hell were they doing in there? Oh man, back when this laboratory was active, that wasn't a mannequin in there, I bet. It was a real live human on that table. I wonder what... No, I don't want to think about it. Uh... Down. There's a lot of stuff here. I don't know how we could use any of these. Well, I can say for sure that I do know how to use at least one. One on top. I think it's a power cable. Power cable, huh? I'll take that. Ooh. I think this thing's supposed to power that machine in the end. Well, it doesn't appear to be doing that. I wonder how we're supposed to turn it on. This is a keyhole. This looks like a keyhole for the activation. time. What? I don't see a power cable. Oops! Yeah, you're right. No power cable. This thing isn't even connected to a main computer, though. It's got a monitor, keyboard, mouse, but that's it. Just sticking the power cable in. Well, I don't know about that. Too many things to add to the one. <laughs> Jinpei, can we get back to what we were talking about? This computer doesn't have a power cable. No, it sure doesn't. And? Don't say and. It's... Have you already forgotten what you just picked up? What I just picked up? Monitor doesn't have a power cable. The one end of this cable needs to be connected to the The other end needs to plug in under. Alright, let's just put you in. Huh? Well, shoot. I can't use Prong. The table has three prongs, but the socket only has three. not gonna fit, is what I'm saying. In other words, we're gonna need a plug to change the power cable. Right. According to Clover, power going. Hey Clover, how are the power cables over there? Huh? What do you mean? Does the power, does the plug have three prongs or two? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me go look. I guess she does have to kind of crouch down to get, get a look down under. The cable on the monitor has, uh, got two of those little metal things. What does that mean? That's it. A 
Okay, can you unplug that cable and... Uh, okay, but... But... Well, I can unplug it, but it's connected to the main computer. I can't take it over. Damn it, that's no good. Well, how about just the plug? What? The plug? Well, maybe more like a connector? The sort of thing that makes the plug with three metal thingies and the plug with two Still useless? Not useless. Not useless at all. That's just what we were looking for. Okay. Can you hold on for a little bit? And back down she goes. Alright, unplugged. I'll hand it to you over at the bars, okay? Clever, use this ethanol. You should be able to wipe off the permanent ink with it. What am I gonna wipe with? Oh, well, your Oh, well, your clothes, of course. Just kidding, just kidding. Please don't look at me like that. You're scaring me. Anyway, could you wipe off that permanent ink? Look, Clover. Right now, at this moment, you're the only person to trusting you. You trust me. I feel kind of special. Hey, Clover. And she's just, I don't think she even knows. Use the cloth at the table. Soak it in the ethanol and then use the oh. Okay, so I gotta soak the cloth with ethanol. <laughs> Even Fighter could play it. Yeah, I'm sure. I just noticed I typed Wednesday on my previous comment instead of Sunday. Once for you and me on Steam and bought a copy for Pete at our version of GameStop, which was for Epic, so I gave it to Nephew. Well, she's got the cloth, but she seems to be having a little trouble with the bottle of it. Ready? I should ask her to get to work on that stuff on the- Soak the cloth in ethanol and... Junpei, it's working! It's wiping the permanent dink off, huh? some kind of weird drawing under all that permanent what's the deal with that drawing clover found maybe i should ask her to take another look at the table i wonder what this is there are a bunch of numbers in some kind of group i can't see it from clover you've got a pen and a notebook right could you write down those numbers and then hand them through the bars okay roger Here, Junpei, I wrote down the numbers on the desk here. Paper with numbers. There you go. The two prong plug. power cable in my I'm pretty sure this will work. Under the desk I go, and let's just plug this thing into the Alright, that ought to do it. Alright, let's turn the power on. Uh, I don't think anything happened. Why not? Well, it's not connected to the main computer. Never know until you try. Optimist. Oh, that worked. What? Huh? It's running on its own? It certainly looks like it. Uh, isn't that kind of... weird? What? Well, it's not connected to the main computer, right? There's just this keyboard and monitor. The only cable connected to this thing is the power cable we just plugged in. <laughs> so, why is it working? Maybe it's a wireless display. Uh, a wireless display? Yes, it connects to your computer wirelessly, hence the name. Have you been living in a cave, Junpei? Is that normal? Yes, at least where I worked. Oh. Oh, it stopped. You pass with a colon. Password! Looks like we need to enter a password. Again? 
There must be a hint around here somewhere. Could you go take a look? Yeah, I'm on it. What are you going to do? I'll see if I can do something about this on my own. On your own? Yep, on my own. Lotus? All right. Let's kick some ass. Uh, wait, what? Didn't expect that, did you? Of course I didn't. You're typing so fast, I, I can't even see your fingers. What I used to type like that. Have? What are you? I'm unemployed at the moment. I used to work for a cybersecurity firm, but I quit. Why? Huh? Oh, um, it was just something. Yeah, I know, you I did see. last time we did this. Oh, uh, what are you doing now? I'm going to try and brute force it. Brute what? A brute force attack is... Well, the short version is that I just attack the thing head on. The long version? Hacking A brute force it. attack is one of the simplest ways to break a cipher. It checks every possible combination until it finds the right one. For a complex cipher, it can take a very long time. I'm writing a program that would run an attack like that on its own. It's not the most elegant solution, certainly. But given the circumstances, there isn't much else I can do. Oh, but back to what we were talking about earlier. What were we talking about? The wireless display? It's kind of strange if you think about it, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> How do I put it? Is well, that let's say you write a program that calculates an addition problem for you, all right? So you enter one plus one. The screen will show you two. See? Isn't that strange? Uh, no? Not really. No, come on now. Of course a caveman like you would think it was strange. You said so just a minute ago. Hmm? You're just not getting it, are you? Who calculated one plus one? The, uh, the, the main computer, right? You said it connected to the monitor wirelessly. Yeah, but someone who grew up in a cave wouldn't know that, right? They'd probably think that this thing here, the monitor, is doing the calculating. And once they've decided that, they'll start examining this monitor. He does have boobas. Unlike my character. They might poke the screen or something. Ah, I see the color changes when I press it here. Then they might investigate the hardware on the inside. Oh, I see. So this wire supplies the power. Eventually, they might even cut the wires. Ah, yes. Just as I expected. When this wire is cut, no results appear. Therefore, it must be this device which does the calculations. Oh. But the truth is that, just like you said, the computer is doing the calculations. But these cave people wouldn't know that. Because they have no idea that the monitor and the computer are connected wirelessly. So, uh, what are you trying to say? Nothing, really. It's just, I thought, maybe. What if the relationship between human beings and our brains is like? Huh? Well, let's say you stick a bunch of electrodes into parts of the brain. Hmm. A scientist examining the signals they send out might say, hmm. hmm, interesting. So stimulating this part of the brain causes the person to see colors. 
that must mean this neuron cluster controls that function. Okay, let's see what happens when I cut out this part. Ah, just what I thought. Cutting off this part causes that function to cease. Therefore, human thought processes must occur in the human brain. See? Doesn't it sound the same? Hmm. Uh. Maybe the brain is just an output device, like this monitor. Maybe our thought processes actually occur somewhere else, in a main body. We just don't know it. We never even think about it. Just like those cave people wouldn't know about wireless communications. We can't imagine that there's some unknown medium that transfers information into our brains where we experience that information as thoughts. Um, the brain is just an output device. Human thought actually occurs somewhere else. That's just crazy talk. Maybe that's the cause of Seven's amnesia. If memory is actually stored somewhere else, in some sort of main body somewhere, maybe he hasn't forgotten anything at all. He's just having a difficult time accessing his memories because the monitor, his brain, has been damaged. That would explain aphasia and blindsight, too. Perhaps they actually can't speak or see. The monitor just isn't functioning properly. Hmm. Hmm. I guess people with prosopagnosia could be suffering from the same thing. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Prosopagnosia? What? What? You've never heard of prosopagnosia? I was going to say the same thing. No. Oh, what is it? Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Usually they can make do by associating people with other things. Their voices, their clothes, their hair. Does that mean other people's faces look like blanks? No. No, I don't think so. Well, you've seen monkeys, like in a zoo, right? To you and me, all the monkey faces look the same. Even though they've obviously got faces, it's almost impossible for a human to distinguish between them. The zoo staff that works with them would learn to identify different monkeys eventually. But you or I couldn't, unless one had a scar or something else to set it apart. Yeah. Well, that's how people would be. Someone with prosopagnosia. Prosopagnosia? Ah, I didn't even know that kind of thing existed. And, um, uh, what were we talking about? The idea that your brain is just an output device, like a monitor. Are you serious about that stuff? Not really. I was just kidding for about half of it. What about the other half? Well, I guess I was just adulting. Mm -hmm. hmm. <sighs> Not funny. <laughs> it's nothing more than a story I made up out of boredom. Don't take it seriously. It was the first thing that came to mind, and I just talked about it to kill time. Looks like I don't need to talk anymore. Why? I don't have to kill time any longer. Oh, then you finished that brute whatever thing? I certainly did. 
and let's see what we got. I noticed. <laughs> Piece of cake. The screen changed again. What the hell oh, is that? Oh, God. No idea. Looks like a puzzle. Huh? Aren't you gonna, I don't know, do more computer stuff? No, I can't do any more. It won't let me do any more programming. See? The keyboard. Nothing. So, there's nothing more I can do. Um... Well, I guess I'll leave this to you then, Junpei. Junpei, you're the problem solver. What? Let me take a break, all right? I did my part. Yeah, uh, well... I guess you're right. Thanks, Lotus. No problem. Make sure you know when you should thank people. Now, I better take care of this myself. No more relying on anyone else. Hey, he thanked you. noise just now? Yeah, I did. It sounded like something unlocking. Where did it come from? Right here. Oh, Jinpei, the lights and the lockers are great. I must have unlocked it with a computer book. Look! More than one key in here. This one is small, and it looks like it goes to some sort of machine. This one has the earth symbol on it. I think the earth symbol matches the hole in it for the A deck. Well, if that's the case, we probably won't need the Earth Key right now. Alright then, Earth Key. I'll just tuck you away deep in my pocket. As for the other key... I know exactly where that goes. I do use my brain. Ooh. Hey, Junpei. Do you have a minute? What's up? I, um... I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? Junpei... You went into door five with my brother, right? Did you hear him say, like, anything weird? Huh? Well, let me think. Sorry, Clover. I can't really think of anything. I mean, he did mention that his hearing exceeds that of a regular person, or something like that, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, wait a minute. Hmm? Look, I, I don't know if I should ask you things, but... If you don't mind, uh, I was hoping you could tell me if, uh, is Snake, uh, I mean, was he born? You're talking about his eyes? Yeah. No, he wasn't born blind. When he was a kid, he got in an accident. A really bad car accident. He couldn't see after that. And his arm. His arm? Yeah. My brother's left arm is, um... It's not like a normal person's arm. It's fake. It's not a real arm. The accident hurt him really bad. To save him, they... They had to cut off his arm. Oh. <laughs> uh... Is that all you wanted to ask me? Look, I'm, I I'm sorry for making you talk about all that painful stuff. It's not that. His left arm isn't real. See, the shape sure makes it seem... Of warning. Power restored to experimental device. 
emergency system will activate in the event of abnormal subject. Okay. There are two levers here. Do you think they activate them? Why don't you move? Alright, I'll give it a try. Nope, oh, doesn't look like anything's happened. Okay, this thing in here is on now. Yeah, that's because we activated the power over on this side. Do you like play with it a little? Okay, yeah. I'll turn on this dial. I'll turn the dial here. Turn, turn, turn. Uh, I don't think it's working. Nothing happened. Maybe she missed something. I should ask her to look. This is the monitor. There are a whole lot of cables on. Something's sticking out of this mannequin. What the hell were they doing? Huh? Why is she all quiet now? They were doing experiments on humans, probably. Now she looks bad. Maybe if you increase the voltage? Roger, will do. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to max voltage. Max voltage? Hey! Wait, Clover! Ah, oh, shit. What? Um, I think, uh... Oh my god! The, the mannequin's head! Oh man, that sounds like a fire alarm. Ah! What the hell? Fire detected! Fire detected! The emergency system will be activated. Evacuate the mo room immediately. Control device for the elect the door lock. The green light is on. Junpei, look at the light. Yes, it's green. Emergency system has activated and disabled the lock. Now we can save Chloe. Junpei, come on, kid. Jump! Be safe. Oh man, that smoke is some serious business. Time to close this door again, I think. Clover, are you okay? Are you hurt? Damn, she's coughing so hard she can't even talk. Of course I'm not alright! What the hell took you so long, you big jerk? I was almost dead! Sorry, I was going as fast as I could. You two can do this later. Right now we need to get the hell out of here. That fire's not going to stay in that room forever. Thank God we got out of there. Yeah, finally. <coughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> All right, let's go. Okay. Damn, none of these open. They're all locked. How about that one? Let's hope this is the door with the prize. Jumpy! Huh? June? Santa! Seven! Hey, what are you guys doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey guys! Could you come take a look at this? Challenge Pando isn't hey, working? on the wall. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor then? Door 7 and... Door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. That's how the notary game works. Thank you for telling me. Wait a sec. This leads to... Oh! 
You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? Look it up. Open it. I knew it. We're back. In the hospital room. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory. And then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Well, we saw each other again and we ain't dead, so I say that's good enough. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. The key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Here. Whoa. <laughs> nice catch. Jeez. I see. So this is Jupiter. I'm gonna let you hold on to that, all right? Yeah, on it. Well, I've got something for you too, then. Here, it's the Saturn key card. We found it in the kitchen. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. I was just with you, Lotus. Yeah, on it. So how many unused keys do we have now? There's the Earth key we found in the laboratory. The Jupiter key you just gave me. And the Saturn key card from Lotus. I'll keep them safe. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then, next to the stairs... Wait! What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. They just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point! At least there is for me! Yeah. You're right, I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Very well. I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So, Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Me? Damn. Well, <clears throat> I guess that's how it's gotta be. So I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. Yeah. All right. I like I was moving. like, what if what if I didn't want to go? Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Okay, we're off. All right, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? 
Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Oh, I get it. We're gonna see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei. Open it, if you please. Yeah, on it. Great! Back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Of course there's a reason, see, si, senor. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? This. The Saturn key card. And the Earth key? I'm lost. Don't you remember, Santa? On Sea Deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. Okie dokie. Love you, Bertie. And on A deck, on the ah. door to the left, there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it, I think. So, the two keys that Jumpy has? Should let us use the elevator and the door on A deck. Huh. Yes, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do you say we split into two teams? Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn, all right? Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. Uh, be an evil penguin. We have no idea what's on the other side of these. So don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. There's a card reader next to the left elevator. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. Great! It looks like it's working now. All right. Now, how do I call the elevator? Like you'd call any elevator. Oh, it only has the upside down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. It... it opened! Look, Jumpy! <sighs> Sweet! It opened! Let's get going. W w wait What? Uh, I'm not really, uh... I just, uh... Oh gosh. Jen was probably afraid of. Okie dokie. I want to do this one because I want to clip it. If y'all don't mind. Well, um, we will be all alone in here. <laughs> Jumpy? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. It's not important. Come on, let's go. I said wait a minute. Why? Aren't you afraid, Jumpy? Afraid of what? Well, I've never... You know... It's your first time? I might... get wet. Uh, uh, what? Down there. I get soaking wet. Well, I, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. 
I mean, I've never heard of anyone <laughs> getting soaking wet uh, somewhere else. That's... That's true. <sighs> you don't mind? I just mind love this. What? First time was funnier. Wet. Well, uh, I don't know. I think I'd probably, um, you know, like it. Gosh, Jumpy, you're so brave. Really? Uh, I mean, I kind of think any guy would do the same thing, you know? What happens, happens, right? I mean, if you get the chance, you've just got to go for it. I, that's what a man is supposed to do, I guess. Such a pervert. <laughs> You're so cool, Jumpy. I really admire you. Uh, that doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you ought to admire someone for. I... Well, I'm really scared. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. Yes. So, I don't think I'll be able to last very long. And then it'll be... No, they're over. not! <laughs> uh, over? Yes. We'll go to heaven. Heaven? It feels kind of like you're floating in space. And your mind gets all fuzzy, like when you pass out. I know they're not! At least that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. That's kind of the point. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I've, I've heard that too. Although, I, I don't think the same thing happens to guys. What? Huh? But it would happen to men, too, wouldn't it? It would happen to anyone. Once it gets into your body, the same thing happens to everyone. Well, I, I mean, um, usually it, it, it doesn't go inside the man. Uh, I mean, generally. Yes, it does. Well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. Your body will force you to swallow some of it. Eventually. What are you trying to do to me? <laughs> Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm just saying that that's what happens. It's a psychological reaction to what you're experiencing. Oh, is that so? <laughs> I know most men probably have larger lungs, but... Even then, I don't think you could hold your breath for 20 or, or even 10 minutes. Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your lungs. Once that happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore. And you'll start to feel that floaty feeling as you pass out. Uh. Huh. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You wouldn't last very long. <laughs> See? <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor, the D-deck is completely underwater. An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, take a look inside. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right. That's why I wanted that clip, because I, well, I, I think it. that's so freaking funny. Yeah, watch this. Now... I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh, there's only two. E and C. 
All right, I'll push E. I, I think I can hear it opening on E deck. Okay, that's done. Now I'll just press the button again. Yep, not a single drop of water to be seen. Um, See? What does that mean? How can E deck be safe if the D deck is full of water? Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Yep. Here, uh, let me show you. He is sealed. I see. So is that why the ship hasn't sunk? The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, all right? Um, but... Come on, just do it, all right? I I'm coming with you. Huh? Hey, wait. Ah, oh, crap. It closed. I can't just let you go alone, you know. Ah, jeez. Looks normal. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. She is, um... <sighs> You're right. It's not flooded Simple. at all. See? But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. What's going to happen if the ceiling breaks? Well, we'd probably get really wet up there. Huh? At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can, once we're done looking around down here. Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Now then... Iron bars... Well, we can't go over there. Right. Then maybe... Well... It looks like there's a long straight hallway down this way. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that... Let's check. That's the, that's the June door. I knew it! This is a numbered door! Welcome back. But we can't do anything with only the two of us. We better head back and let everyone know. And yeah, the two of you would equal- Yes. Wait, what's this? Is this the map for E-Deck? I should take it with me. Huh, so you guys found door one. So now we've located two Your new head doors, is in the gutter the six door and the one door. Wait, your head's always in the gutter. You know, it is interesting that E deck wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of E deck is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Yeah, even so, it's still very interesting. You said the six door was there, right? Yes. That means Zero planned all this out, even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. <laughs> it's pretty today? mind blowing when you think about it. Yeah, I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. The 
most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yes, it does make sense. Hmm. 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 Um. Yeah? Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Just kidding. All right, let's go. I love the way the door is open, I have to admit. Hey! Where the hell did you guys go? Seven? Hmm. Um. What's wrong? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was... Snake is... Snake is... dead. He died, just as the ninth man did. Oh my god, that's not true, is it? How? <sighs> we should make sure. Yeah, right, we should. Wait, not that way. What? Why not? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. Where is, uh, where is he? The shower room, on the left side of the hall. I put a broom in there too to keep the door. Well, that means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah, that's right. Then let's go. This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. Oh, it smells horrible. Of course it does. Ugh, yeah, this is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, hmm. Where is he? Where's Snake? There. June, you should stay here. But... Please, just do me a favor, okay? Alright? I'm going in. <sighs> uh. Just like Ace said. Just like the Ninth Man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Oh god. The the bone is coming out of his left arm. Ooh. Wait. It's definitely an open fracture. Wait, what did they just say about Oh the face? It's horrible. Yeah, can't even tell who it is. That's not Snake. Uh, but the clothes are. No mistake about it. It's Snake. I can't be Snake. <laughs> Snake was probably murdered. His left arm Chances was are prosthetic. He was killed the same way the ninth man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. Remember? First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it, alone, and waited nine seconds for the door to shut. And once that door shut, it was all over for Snake, but he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. 
Unfortunately, it didn't work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Snake was the only one who went through the door. But who was it? And then, 81 seconds after he was shoved in. Yeah, I know you are. That happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Yeah. That means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. And that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. Yeah, that means anybody could be a killer. W wait a minute. What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? You're implying that one of us is a killer. Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? What Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner, and those who don't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yes. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. We've teased him about the number before. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. If there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Hmm. Good question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. Hero still on the ship with them? You guys can choose the answer. Nope, he's younger than me. Something's still strange. Hmm? What was that? Well, I'm just wondering about one thing. And what's that? How can you be so sure that Zero's on this ship? Really, Junpei? I confess I'm a little disappointed. Usually you're rather sharp. Isn't it obvious? Wait, it is? This ship? Huh? Zero said, this ship, several times when he addressed us. If he weren't here, 
He wouldn't say this ship, would he? He'd That's be saying something like that ship or the ship. Oh, yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. If Zero's on the ship, where is he? I think I think Zero is one of us. Deck D. Yeah, can't go to Deck D. Deck D is, uh, if you want to drown, you can go to Deck D. said zero might be one of us what are you saying jumpy didn't you hear what ace said exactly i said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason no reason you think it's June? i've got a great reason and what's that the bracelets why are the bombs in our bodies connected to the bracelets You're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere watching us, right? What makes you if think it's June? That, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. But... If that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? Huh. You got a point. I'm not done. Try applying <laughs> the same ideas to the nonary game. All of the puzzles here run all by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game to move forward. Why is that? Why would Zero bother to do something like that? So let's say you and Clover are right. Zero's one of us. Is she simple? If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us or control anything remotely. That's why all the puzzles run by themselves. That's what you're getting at, right? Yeah. Seven, when we were talking earlier, you said any one of us could be Snake's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. All right, then. I've got a question for you, Ace. You said something like Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Yes, something like that. I can't think of any other explanation. So what do we get if we combine those? They fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake is Zero. Hence, Zero is one of us. Seven and Ace's theories aren't mutually exclusive. They actually complement each other pretty well. At least they do if Zero is one of us. What were his motives? His motives? You think it's yes. a cover? Isn't that pretty important? Why would Zero want to hide as one of us? Oh, well, that's because, um, I don't know. Well, so much for making a persuasive argument, Junpei. In other words, you only had circumstantial evidence. Bill Clover. <laughs> I don't really think that's enough to go on, you know? It's three in the morning. 
That means we have three hours left. Then we need to move now. Seven, Clover, Junpei, I know how you feel, but you do understand that right now it's important we trust one another, don't you? You're right, but... You think it's... We must go. We have very little time left. Posture check. Our next destination is Mercury. But maybe you and June should check it out first and then report back to us. All right, let's go, June. Right. Here it is. The Mercury card reader. We're using the card Seven gave us, right? Yeah. And I found it when we were checking out the shower room. I ah. think Seven said something like that. Anyway, let's see what happens. Delric isn't actually the in the game. Now. Jumpy, I know it's only the two of us, but let's do our best. What's with you all of a sudden? Well, I'm happy we were put together. Uh, you know it's just for searching e -deck, right? Even so, I'm glad I'm with you. Oh. First, we need to find out if the elevator comes up full of water. Just like we did before. Right, Dark Drake could have done it. Two of them. Oh, here it is. I knew it. It's not wet at all. Let's go. Yes. Look! Nearly all of the buttons are destroyed. Yeah, only the seat and bottom button can be pushed. We're on C deck right now, so the only one we can choose is bottom. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. You are no angel. Oh, so this is the bottom deck. Hey, over there. This is a numbered door. This is the eighth one we found. There were two numbered doors on B deck near the central staircase. They were doors four and five. Three more in the large hospital room. Doors three, seven, and eight. And the door we found on E deck, and the door Lotus and Santa found on A deck. It was a six on the door on E deck, and a one on the door on A deck. That means. Do you think the next door we find will be the number nine yeah, door? I think so. The next one's gonna be door nine. Finally! Yeah. You don't look very happy about it, though. It's not that. I just hope nothing goes wrong. You're right. We should keep our fingers crossed. I have my fingers crossed! Let's head back. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Yes, just like you told us earlier. I can't believe we're voting here. <laughs> we need to make the whole thing fair, blah de blah. This is a complicated plan, you know. Hurry it up, Mr. Not I nice. have a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. All right, let's open these up. The first one says, Ace requests door one. Of course he does. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? No, we don't have time for that. Sorry, let's keep going. Next is Santa. He wants door six. Yeah, 
It's what I wrote. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the Elephant Man. <laughs> no, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But, uh... Just give it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. Barely. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. Maybe. But what about common decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. I'm gonna kill you! Oh, not good. Let go! Let go of me! I'm killing him! Junpei, read the rest. Uh, right. June wants door six. Yes, I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. So this was everyone's vote. <laughs> Ace and Clover requested door one. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. Then the door I should choose is... Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through... I want to go through door six. That's a problem. None of these teams will be able to go through the doors they want. <laughs> as long as they use picks. Clover and I chose door one. Lotus and I chose door two. And that's not enough people to open a numbered door, however. The digital routes don't match up either. We've got similar problems. June, Junpei, and I want to go through door six. But our digital route is five. If we're gonna open that door, we need a one. Ace can come with us. Damn, what are we gonna do now? <sighs> what are we going to do? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one with me? <sighs> uh, what about me? Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams just complaining that they didn't have a one? Oh, yeah. You mean I should join Santa's team? Yes. Huh. I understand. I'll go through door six then. If we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass through a numbered door and no one will be left behind. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Nope. Seven, Lotus, what do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. Me either. All right, then. We're good to go. See you later. Wait, Clover! Don't move on your own! Oh, I'll be going too then. Yeah, be careful. We should get going as well. Think she's gonna murder? This is E Deck. There should be a door at the end of the hall. All right, let's go. Here it is. You guys ready? Yeah. Oh. Then let's get to it. I said no! Take it as... Hey, I found it. It's right there.
Da. <gasps> it stopped. Yes, it stopped. Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. No raisin is allowed. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. Agreed. You got that right. Once I'm out of this hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. <laughs> I agree. All right, let's go. This door looks heavy. But it's not locked. I'm opening it. You're easily distracted. Whoa, what the hell is this? <laughs> this has to be the biggest room so far. The ceiling is pretty high, too. Huh. Could be two stories. It's a great bit, isn't it? Even more. Yeah, it's a great This space could be utilizing the entire length of the ship. What's that huge Kamaboko looking building in the middle? Kamaboko? <laughs> well, I guess that's as good of a description of it as any. I see stairs, so we may as well head over to them. Yeah, but this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. So we'll go right. single file. You know, like... Whoa, you can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Let's check out the other side, too. A dried up grape. This looks to be the steam engine room. The steam engine room? Yes, that thing that looks like a cross section of a mushroom is the boiler. You see the three round doors near the bottom? Coal is put into those and burned, which heats you the water. You can say producing it, I steam. can't. The same For thing that drives a steam minutes. engine. This one is and simply somewhat just larger. Likes to be mean. I see. It doesn't appear to be running right now. All right, let's split up. Hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? Hey, June. Jumpy. You. Oh, you're. You're really warm. Is your fever coming back? Yes. Yes. It probably is. But I'm fine. Please, don't worry about me. I just need to rest. It's getting hot in here. Okay, okay. Uh, here, sit down. Uh, careful. Thank you. Ace, Santa. Yes. Right. All right, let's get started. Hang in there, June. Yes, I'm I do. But I can't sing anything soon. more than that. Actually, I probably shouldn't have sang it at all. I get in trouble for that. on it is all right let's twist of course i do all right go we're on the other side put us directly above the air boat yes sign
I know there is. That's the only one I know. Out of letter. Alright, let's give this one then. What? That's weird. I don't feel any resistance. Ah! Oh shit. It's a wheel that seems to be part of the winch. Some pegs on the back that look like they go into the holes of the winch. Good job, genius. Broke it. I didn't break it. It broke all by itself. Operated winch. Um, there's no turn. Oh, yeah. I got the wheel I pulled off the other winch, don't I? Let's see if it fits. Yeah, I lift. It fits. Looks like they were made for you. Not shaky at all. But I should be able to turn. Good work, Jim. Okay, we should be able to haul up the box. See? The wooden box it's under the catwalk. See it? Hanging from the from the wind. It looks like there's some sort of device in it. I'm not sure what it is. At any rate, you might as well turn that wheel. I'm counting on you. Alright, I'll turn the wheel. Huh? This happened. The wheel only turns to the left. To the left. That means we can't reel up that rope. Yeah, we can only let the rope down. Interesting. I don't think that'll be a problem. Simply need to get downstairs after letting the wooden box down. I will be counting on you, Jupiter. Sure thing. A sweat. I believe the box has reached the floor. Yeah. June's down over by there. She doesn't seem to be improving. Well, of course not. She's not gonna just get better right away, you know? It'll take time. What could be causing this, I wonder? Illness, perhaps? Nah, it's gotta be exhaustion. She gets dropped into some weird-ass ship, forced to play some messed-up game. If you think about it, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her, you know? So you're saying we're abnormal? Yes! Yeah. We're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. He is really cheeky. How the hell could you call that normal? We're just guinea pigs. A guinea pig? You mean like a lab rat? You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know? You know, speaking of experiments... Hello? There was this experiment some scientists did with rats. First, they took a squarish C-shaped tank filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. The tank has two exits. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. Exit A is pitch black, so dark even a rat can't see anything. But exit B is electrified, which means the rat can't leave through it. So, what would a rat do if it was put in this situation? Which exit would the rat choose? B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B is electrified. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. Of course, like I said, it's electrified. 
which means the rat can't get out that way. So, after a lot of trial and error, the rat finally finds exit A. Hmm, I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. It's simply the story of a laboratory experiment. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. Hmm? See, these scientists repeated this experiment over and over. Using hundreds of different rats over several generations. This produced some surprising results. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. Eventually, a rat was put in the tank who instantly chose exit A without even attempting to go to exit B. But that wasn't the most impressive part. The same experiment was conducted in another laboratory, far from the original one, with the same results. No, on second thought, the results weren't really the same. The rats in this second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. These rats weren't related to the others and had never even come in contact with them. And yet, they all easily found their way to exit A as though they already knew. What did it mean? Are you suggesting something like telepathy? They were passing information to one another through some undetectable medium? <laughs> How the hell would I know? I'm not any kind of scientist. I don't know what made him do that. Uh, Adora probably eats rat. But I do know that story's true. If you've got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. Come on, let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. And we gotta get the hell out of here before June passes out. Thanks for the head pat. Hey, wait. There's something I want to ask you. What? Why did they use that tank for the experiment? Huh? Well, I mean, it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. They could have just used a dry box, you know? If they needed to motivate the rats to escape, they could have... I don't know... Put some bait by exit B or, or something. I mean, do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? You know, the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge. You ever think about that? Huh. Huh? Well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. And to emerge means to sort of come out, or appear, or rise out of something else. So what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. Inspiration? Yeah. Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. So in an emergency, your real potential emerges. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. There had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. Oh. That's new. That was not in the last run.
Um. The pair of wooden boxes. There's nothing in them. Wait, what? That's the box I just literally just... Maybe control panel? Hey! Dude, you did it! Everything looks alright. Okay, but why don't you press the button next? Orange one? Yes. Alright, I'll do that. Pushing! Wait! All sorts of lights are lighting up. And Oh yes, I think I just heard something turn on. Oh? What's that? What happened? Junpei, look, the conveyor belt's moving. Conveyor belt? Well, I guess it's done moving. There's still a bunch of coal on the belt, though. Looks like a bunch of it got dumped off the end of the belt into that wooden box where it... Coal. Coal, huh? All drops off the left end of the belt into the huge open for the there are three open areas in each of the open areas has a gear in it. So this is where you put the coal into the furnace. That's right. I had a look in it earlier, but it's rusted shut. Um, perhaps you should check the other side. A bunch of wood. Are you look through those? There's nothing. Anyways, that looks like it's a pipe. Looks like the coal must come out of this pipe. we're showing up this time um I don't know do you guys want to play This opening is for fueling the furnace. Be sure to put some coal in here and ignite it. Then the engine might start working. It's certainly possible. Yeah. 
Wooden box full of coal. Guess there's really only one thing you can do with this stuff. Yeah, I won't. Besides, Fighter doesn't have it. The hole that let us put coal into the. Maybe if we can get some coal in there and set it on fire. Okay, let's do it. Alright, that's the last of it. No coal left in the box. And nothing. Well, I guess I should have expected that. Why would throwing coal into a cold furnace do anything? Oh, well, a man can... Senpai, explain it to me again. You're planning to stoke the furnace with coal, which will heat the water stored up in there and make it steam. It'll then drive something out. Am I correct? In other words, you want to generate enough pressure with the steam to power the turbine. Drive the steam engine. Yeah, I guess that's the uh, gist of it. Well, in that case, this isn't enough coal. The furnace is enormous. Yeah, uh, he won't be able to do it either. So we're gonna need a whole hell of a lot more coal than this. Very well then, if the three of us work together, we should be able to manage to fill it much faster. I, I wanna help too. And I totally didn't even see her walk up. Are, are you feeling that? Yes. Yeah, right. You look like you're one stiff breeze away from falling over. I think you'd better rest some more, right? But I... No arguing. You need to rest, so just stay there. We'll handle this. I understand. Alright, time for some manly work. Oh yeah. Let's get this coal into those furnaces. We'll talk about it on uh, on the Discord. Yeah, we could play Wonderland. I think he's got it downloaded. Man, this is a lot of work. Alright, I think this should be sufficient. Alright, now we just gotta light it. Jinpei, hand me your matches. What makes you think I have matches? I see. And how are we gonna light it? Perhaps there's a device nearby that will allow us to ring Let's take a look, shall we? Some sort of ignition. It was on Humble Bundle, so you likely have it, unless you just happen to miss that month. Lighter is locked in. This? I think it might be. Probably. I think this is how we might ignite the first. That means if we move that thing down. Alright, let's do it. Go! Hey Junpei, Ace, look at this. There's big gears turning under the boiler here. That did it! I don't have Star Citizen. The hell are you guys waiting for? Let's start looking. What are you doing? Hotter than hell in there. Oh. Uh. There it is. Need to put maybe three discs in. That's odd, nothing's happening. Maybe you're, I don't know, putting them in the... Perhaps you have them facing the wrong direction. 
Perhaps you rotate the disc to make some of the lines connect to one. Well, no harm in trying. lines on these discs. I think maybe I can make a star polygon with these. You found it! Yes! The door's <gasps> open! Hi! Welcome to the... Welcome to the stream! If I can talk right, we'll even be better. All right, Junpei. Why don't you go get June now? Santa and I will keep an eye on the store. Why do we need to do that? Even if it shuts, <laughs> we know how to solve the puzzle now. We could just open it again. Well, I suppose that's true. Shall all three of us go and collect June then? Nah, I'm cool. I'll let Junpei handle it. So are you only interested in being contrary? Yes, definitely. All right, I'll go get June. I'll be right back. That's Santa's M.O. Oh, Jumpy. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine now. I'm sorry I made you worry. Uh, let me check. <gasps> Good. You're feeling a lot better. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, you're such a warrior, Jumpy. Oops, I mean, <laughs> warrior. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. Go where? Oh, right, I didn't tell you. We got the exit open, so... Great! Let's go! I love the character designs in this. I really do. Oh, it's... I Santa? know. What are you looking at? It's a photo. It's my sister. Sister? Santa, you've got a sister? Yeah. Kid was cute as a button. She was only about an inch tall then? <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. I guess an inch is a little large for a button. Probably more like a half inch. Mm. <laughs> sorry. Why are you looking at it? <sighs> I was her Santa Claus. Wait, what? We didn't have parents. They bought it in an accident when we were still kids. So I had to be like her dad. And that meant that I bought her Christmas presents every year. On Christmas Eve, I'd leave the present next to her pillow. And the next morning, she'd come running into my room with this big smile. Look, look, Santa left me a present. He got me that doll I really wanted. I'm so glad he got my letter. She was always so excited. I was the one who told her to write those letters. This is different. I'd say... Write down something you want and mail it to Santa. The address I gave her was somewhere in Northern Europe that doesn't exist. Anyway, she'd write the letter and stamp it and send it out. And then a few days later, it'd show up back in our mailbox marked Address Unknown. I'd open the letters before she figured out they'd been sent back. 
Yeah. Once I had the letter, I'd go around to a couple stores with some money I'd saved up over the year and buy her the stuff she'd asked for. It took a lot of saving, but I managed to buy her presents every year. Huh. Huh. But one year, her letter was different. She didn't write a list of toys she wanted or anything like that. Instead, it said, I don't want any presents this year. Instead, I want you to make my wish come true. My wish is that we'll be happy like this for a really, really long time. That was it. Nothing else. But I couldn't make that wish come true. Some Santa I am. What happened? She died. She was killed nine years ago. Oh. <gasps> All right, let's go. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Huh? Hey, what are you two doing? Let's get moving. Come on. Let's go. No, yeah. I have to agree. I just don't remember it. Oh, you're finally back. Sorry we took so long. Let's go. Yes, I have. Right now we're doing the, uh... We're doing uh, one of the is, special endings. Is this a warehouse? No, I believe this is the cargo room. This must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. Well, we probably ought to start with finding the exit, right? Let's get going. So yeah, I've played all three games, but I'm pretty much letting everybody else make the choices except for getting the endings, you know, getting the special endings once they've made all the choices. Back to here. Ooh. What's that? It's a card. It has a headshot on it. Headshot. Yeah. I'm not really sure what purpose this could possibly be. Hi, guy! Yeah, no spoilers. I don't mind backseat gaming, but... No spoilers. Santa. Crates are quite large. I'm pretty laid back when it comes to these kind of things. That's fun. <laughs> Guy, I love you. Seven's card. This is supposed to be a trading card. It's not a very good one. Searched all the boxes. There's nothing in them. Locked. We need the key. All the boxes have numbered it. Do they? Oh, Ace bent down and picked something that had been sitting next to the box. Junpei, take a look at this. Cards. Lotus. Her hair is ridiculous. It's like clay or something. Says the pot to the kettle. That's it. Okay, so I did get that. Okay. Nine. <laughs> I 
I know. I love you too. There's some sort of liquid in these barrels. I'm not sure what it is, however. I don't know that I want. Hard. Battery. There are three crates here, stacked up like stairs. If we climb up here, I think we can get over the fence. Junpei, I think you could go take a look at that. Sorry, but no thanks. Why? I've, uh, got a bad feeling about it. Let's see. Okay, fine. I'll go. Please be careful, Santa. Yeah, but just in case. Wait, what's he going to do with that screw? I don't see what throwing a screw at the fence is. Holy shit! Oh man, there's electricity running through that fence. Looks like it. Then we can't get to the other side. Well, we could jump off those crates, but we wouldn't be able to get back. Something off about who? About you? Waiting for it. whatever, I'm going. Okay, there's no No cards up here. I'm trying to remember the Yeah, he doesn't trust June. He doesn't like June and Clover. Well, he despises Clover because uh, he's not trustworthy. Alright, does that mean we need to collect the cars we don't have? Yes, but... I Clover, yes. Although I love Snake too. Look like the children of the other crate. Junpei, that sounds like some sort of fairy tale. Really? I don't know, man. You ever think about how crates would reproduce? Doesn't sound like a fairy. T doesn't sound like a fairy tale to me. Junpei, you're weird. Box. There's nothing inside. There we go. Now we finally have all nine picture cards. No, I agree. She had reason to. Lotus is cranky. Although she is good on the computer. We just need to insert these cards into the slots at the front of each box. You know which card goes in which box, yes? Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's really obvious. You just match our numbers to the numbers. Then you pop the corresponding card in the right box. So for instance, the card with the picture of Ace on it goes into box one card with the picture of snake on it goes into box two, and so on. Oh, uh, I see. Huh? What is it? Hey! June, are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I gotta go check on her. You finish the box thing, alright? Uh, um... Just put the cards in the boxes. I'm counting on you! Are you alright? What happened? Can you stand? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fine. Yeah. And Jupe would know, yeah. 
Lotus for waifu. I just find it hilarious that everyone calls Lotus an old lady, despite her being the hottest person here. True, but let's be honest, she has two kids that are in their 20s now. So, yeah. That is why everyone... <laughs> no, that's true. They don't know that. I just tripped. Don't give me that. Now is not the time. But it's true. I, I tripped over a box. <sighs> just let me see for a sec. Huh. You're still warm. I saw her fall. I think she really did just trip on something, you know? Still, to fall down like that? I think she's probably still a little messed up. All right, well, let's just get out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to a hospital. Oh, I don't think it's anything that serious. I just need a little medicine and some sleep, and I'll be fine. Medicine? Medicine, huh? Well, if we could get in touch with anyone outside, I'll bet Ace could swing that for you easy. Ace? Why? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical company. Cradle Pharmaceuticals is the name, I think. Their flagship product is an anesthetic drug called Soparil. Soparil? Soparil? I've heard of that before somewhere. Soparil. It's an anesthetic that's a gas at room temperature. A lot like how nitrous oxide is. <laughs> you just stabbed me in the heart. No, I... No, probably. I'm vin- that's right, I'm vintage. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, everyone calls me Ash. It takes only a few seconds to spread, and even a small amount is very effective. A bunch of countries quickly accepted it for widespread use within their police and military forces. It was an effective crowd suppressant and room clearer. It was practical, ethical. And the humane nature of it made it the ideal drug. <laughs> That's all right. It's been around for about six years. They developed it from the extracts of several different roots. It became popular almost as soon as it was made public, with many governments placing large orders. Demand for Soparil skyrocketed. And of course, that meant Cradle Pharmaceutical stock did too. Oh, you poor baby. I'm still older than you. Elric, be nice. Why do you know all of this? I heard it from the old man himself. From Ace? When? By the number four door at the central stairway, when we were searching the second class room. Remember how Snake, Seven, and you went to door five? It was back then. I asked him what he did for a living, and he said he ran his own company. Well, thank you for the head, Pat. Yeah, I, I, I will say you are older. And now with age comes experience. After that, we just started talking, and I guess it just came up, you know? Huh. Are you worried about something? No, uh, nothing. Uh, hmm. What the hell is he doing? June, don't push yourself, all right? Yes. Santa, could you take care of her? I'll go check on Ace. Looks like he's having trouble. And hi, fighter! Thank you for the head, Pat. You just getting home? Sure. What are you doing? What happened? Nothing. I... My vision has gotten rather blurry, I think, because of fatigue. I can't see very well at the moment. What can't you see well? These pictures. I don't care to admit it, but I may be developing presbyopia. Growing old is a difficult thing. At any rate, I'll leave the rest to you. I'm feeling awfully tired, so if you don't mind, I'd like to rest for a bit. 
How could simply looking at cards have tired him out? Hmm. But if it wasn't, what had made him so uncomfortable? Prosopagnosia. Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. That's not true. If that was the case, I'd know what I want in life. I don't. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. Pins? Probably has hairpins. Quite a few. They're probably connected. Yeah. Sure. Well, it's it's set on the gigantic, uh, the gigantic is a sister ship to the Titanic. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Maybe, maybe he's got prosopagnosia? Huh. Well, he looks depressed enough to have it. Oh well. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. Ace's card is in box one, Snake's is in number two. I just need to do the same for the rest. And finally, the ninth man's card into box nine. Yeah! Oh, they opened! What the? Nine pins? I guess I'll take them with me. I don't know if he saw you. Spider! Are you listening? Probably not. You probably just turned, on, turned it on, turned the sound off. Just lurking. Does that. They'll be on tonight. It looks like the pins that would be a perfect fit. <laughs> Get fighter to sing in a southern accent? Oh, good god. Can't stick so some kind of rule. I'm a switch light still. You think? You think maybe? Yeah, it's a digital. 2, 4, and 6 equal 12. Digital root of 12 is. Therefore, light number 3 turns. Therefore, light number 6 turns. D. That's how it works. Oh. They turned off. Turn on all the lights. Seventeen. 
that's eight. That would make five. All right, I'll ask him. I said he can he can talk to uh we can talk together when we're on Discord. Six. Eleven. What? Did I seriously make the same digital? Seven. Do you recall the old couple in the 97 Titanic movie? That's Isidore and Ida Strauss. In real life. Cruz said he could go with her because he was an elderly man. He refused because there were younger men still aboard. His wife got out with the lifeboat, lifeboat and argued with her saying, We've been married for 40 years. Where you go, I go. They ended up walking away. That's actually really cool. Sorry if I'm talking, if I'm... Yeah, I, I've got YouTube up as well. says people would see them sitting in their deck chair holding the hands saying their wedding vows and a man would see them get get washed off the deck holding on to each other 
They found him dead in the water later, but never found his wife. Yeah, I've got, uh... YouTube up. I am not a little crazy. You're crazy, I'm not crazy. multi-stream big crazy then he no never guy says you can tell them this uh uh if you haven't liked the stream and subscribed you're crazy guy i love you to death <laughs> and the shutters opened up. Oh. Yes, I will play Master Detective Archives Rain Code. I've actually got to get that yet. Yeah, I actually did that without messing up once. That's impressive. that mean? Yeah, we gotta do it again. Man, and I thought I was doing so well. I gotta all equal up to 15. Hey, Zellerick, you're the one that did this for me last time. I know what F means, but I do know one thing. But this time there's nine holes. We need to insert nine pins. Man, that's boring. Why don't you just try it, alright? I've done this before, but I don't remember it.
Oh, that can't be right. It has to be right, but I don't know. another nine there. Five is what supposed to be. I just had that in the wrong place. <laughs> you have faith in me. Yeah, I have little faith. Me of little faith. Just a little. I am not gonna finish the game today. I said I was gonna finish the game. I am not gonna finish the game today. I am so depressed. All pins and started. 
technically two, but you can get through two in one run. After this one. You are definitely being cheeky. We're gonna get through this ending, definitely. I wonder what these... I think this might help. But, what the hell is it? Where did you find this? What is that? Where did you find it? I found it while you're messing around with the pinhole. It looks like instructions for... Alright. Basically the... Pushmatic 5000. Pushmaster 5000. The Pushmaster was a... See the coffin? Yeah, don't you want to know what the deal is with that? I do. You want to check it out? Yeah. Alright, how do you think we're going to get there? Well, well we, there were some crates on the right side of the fence that someone piled up like bears. Maybe if we make a path to the coffin from here. And how would we do that? Line up crates, I guess. Yeah, that sounds about right. I guess this is just one of, another one of Zero's puzzles. Yeah. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Oh, looks like it runs off the of batteries. I keep it from using energy too fast. It's a program that'll only start moving if the path has been completely programmed in. All right. That in All right, let's give this a shot. Yes, I know. Doing something wrong already. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing. wasn't how we did it. You notice that the number of moves you make just... Maybe it says something about this. Beginning operation will take some time before it's fully charged. In other words, it doesn't start out with a fully charged battery. You have 51 moves this time, so you should get 52 this time. Remember that. We didn't do that last time. I remember that. We had to go down. 
There's more room. Yeah, I know. I've just messed up with my. Actually, no. Let's do this to Ah oh, shit, that's down in a I just realized that. Well, I was starting, he said the, all three messages, so his first uh, message was in arrows. So that's where I was, that's where I started at.
back. I'm still trying to figure that out. Someone's getting touchy. Yeah, no shit. Move it around the field and make it cross with the second spot from the top first. Had to put on heater <laughs> for the fur ball print. Yeah, I know. Well, I have 55 moves now. Remember, I know, I'm this on my own this so forgive me for not following direction yes leave me alone Damn. It was worth a shot. I can go my own way. It just doesn't work. Okay. I just don't understand your path.
Yes, I do. Ah, uh, this is so frustrating. It's all right. I don't have to apologize for not being on my stream. I can get on it from here though. Just be quiet and watch. See? It's moving. We are playing 999, although we're almost done. We're almost done with one route. <laughs> I told it to do and lined up all the crates. Great, now we can reach the coffin. We just need to climb those crates over by the phone. Just open it. Okay, okay. <laughs> it is. A small key and... A gun? Yeah, a revolver. It looks pretty old. I wonder if this is a replica. This thing is... 
Are these real bullets? Oh, if this is real? Oh. Yeah, I've tried mo mo novel mode. You're not gonna take it? Of course not. All something like this is gonna do is cause more trouble. It's a powerful weapon that gives one person a huge advantage. Something like that would be way too dangerous to have around. We're in enough danger already. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Maybe Zero put this gun here, hoping that something like that might happen. In other words, maybe he put it here to make us fight each other. In that case, we should most certainly leave it here. I, for one, have no desire to let Zero control me. Me neither. Okay, we've got that figured out. But you aren't gonna leave that key in there, are you? Of course not. We'll take that with us. Rusty key. Maybe I can use this. Oh. Upsy daisy. Just put this key in here and yes, that sounds what that did it. Yay! Looks like it's open, Jumpy. I see. He should open this door. Hey, what are you waiting for? Let's go! First rule about Fight Club is nobody talks about Fight Club. Yes, it's opening! We are great! Yeah, I'm not crazy about novel Long books. hallway, huh? Let's check it out. We've seen this elevator before. We got off the one on the left just a little while ago. Then we went through the number six door, and that took us to the engine room. Yes, and after that we passed through the cargo room. And now we're back here. In other words, we made a loop. We're back where we started. Hmm. We needed a card to get to this point. I don't see a card reader here. Perhaps we aren't able to activate it from this location. Why don't you just try pushing the button? Yeah. It worked! It works! I think so. Good. Now we can go back if we need to. What do we do? Should we return to Sea Deck? No, this hallway keeps going. Even if we do end up going back, I think we should see what's down there first. I agree. Let's go. Looks like it ends here. Only one door. There isn't anything else. It's the only way to go. All right. Let's open it. Huh. The nine door. <laughs> Of course it wouldn't be that easy. Vacant, huh? We finally found it. Jumpy! Huh? Look! Behind you! What? A nine door. There's another one. Why? It's nine, no matter how you look at it. The red is there too. 
so this is a real one? Why? And why the hell are there two doors? <laughs> there were always two doors. I mean, if you think about it. Zero never actually said there was only one door with a nine on it. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Of course, we just assumed that there was only one. After all, why would there be more than one? Girl? Oh, man. Ah. We fell for it. There are two doors. That means that all nine people who had met at the central staircase could escape. No one would be left behind. Now it makes sense why the bracelets are numbers. One through nine. Divided into teams of four and five people. The digital root of both teams ends up being nine. Take one, two, seven, eight, and three, four, five, six, nine, for example. The digital root for both teams would be nine. Or two, three, four, nine, and one, five, six, seven, eight. The digital root is still nine. There are a bunch of combinations that work, and they all end up the same way. If one team has the digital root of nine, so would the other one. What does that mean? The answer's simple. From the very beginning, the memory game was designed to save all nine people. That's how it was meant to be. Yep. Zero didn't lie. He never said there'd be only one nine door. But anyone who'd found themselves in the game would have assumed that was the case. Fights would have broken out. One team would likely betray or deceive the other. Someone might be hurt. Someone might get killed. But eventually, they'd reach this very same room and realize how pointless all their infighting was. There were two doors. There was no need to kill each other. This game was designed for that purpose. This notary game. We were all arguing and fighting over doors at the beginning. But if there had been one slip up, one tiny mistake that led to more, everything could have been so much worse now. So, what are we going to do, Junpei? Huh? I go back! Oh, right. Hey, keep it together, man. Sorry. Jeez. So what do we do? What do you... We need to think about our next step. Uh... Our numbers are one, three, five, and six. That's a digital root of six. The four of us can't open the number nine door. The four? Wait, don't tell me. Yep. There's one combination that'll let three of us open the nine door. That's why I'm asking, what now? What now? No, we gotta go back. Yep. I agree. We cannot leave June behind. Uh, are you sure? I... I don't mind staying. It's okay. There's no way we'd leave you behind. Besides, I'd rather drown at the bottom of the ocean than escape with this sausage fest. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to go to Atlanta. Uh, are you sure you don't mean Atlantis? Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> He's cracked. You guys. Very well. Best we head back to C deck then. We should be able to take the elevator we passed earlier. Perhaps Clover, Seven, and Lotus will have returned from door one. But 
even with all seven of us. Standing around here isn't going to accomplish anything, don't you agree? Let's find the other three first, and then search for another solution. I guess you're right. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Come to think of it. What is this room? We were so focused on the doors, we didn't even look around. Huh. It looks like it's set up for some kind of ceremony. But what kind? Huh. A, a coffin. What on earth is a coffin doing in a place like this? Hey, Junpei! The hell are you doing? Let's move! Right, okay. I'll be right there. No, I won't be able to finish. Be able, uh, I won't be able to finish. Oh, chapel and not get Look, it's seven and lotus. Hi, Birdie. You got a problem. Clover is gone. What? What do you mean, gone? When? Uh, Why? after this one, we'll have you two, went two though I think we can Clover, do them all at once. The two at once. Yeah, we went through the door together. But Clover barely spoke to us. She just did her own thing the whole time. Huh. There were four rooms on the other side of door one. She wouldn't let us into the fourth room. She just said, I'll take care of this one. And shut the door. She must have blocked it with something on the other side. We waited for a while, but Clover didn't come out. We called for her, but she didn't answer. So I kicked down the door and we went into the room. But... Hmm. It was empty. Clover wasn't there. There was a door on the other wall. We're gonna finish this ending and, and then... it's open. Next Sunday we will finish we it. figure she opened the door and left by herself. We ran after her, of course, but... Well, obviously we didn't find her. You figured that much out. Clover's gone. When did this happen? We got here just before you. You certainly have excellent timing. Yeah, I stream tomorrow. So you haven't searched anywhere other than near the staircase? Tomorrow's Dragon's Dogma. No, we haven't. Very well then. We'd best separate and look for Clover. We haven't much time left. Let's begin. Yeah. She's not here. No, she isn't. All right, just in case, we should go take a look in the shower room. Shower room? That's where her brother is. She might have gone to see him. Well, we might as well check, right? Let's go. Good. We can still get in. We should thank Seven later. No luck. Yeah, I don't think she's here. The smell is horrible. Let's check the back, just to be sure. No, oh, she's not here. Snake, just where did your sister go? Ugh, such a horrible way to go. The skull shattered, the left arm's... Hideously twisted. 
Wait. Bones. My brother's left arm is... Um, it's not like a normal person's arm. The accident hurt him really bad. Of course. Of course. Why didn't I realize it earlier? Um, Jumpy? Oh, sorry for making you wait. Let's go. Junpei! Jun! Where were you guys? Did... did something happen? Clover is... Clover is dead. I found her... in the first-class bathroom. Clover, why? Why did this happen? <sighs> Clover, no way. Let's let's get out of here, June. Are you all right? Yes. I think so. You should get some rest. Here, no. the bed. Can you sit? Yes. You don't have to steal, steal my CPU. Who was the first to find the body? Me. Why did you come to this room? To look for Clover. Why else? I found her body in the bathroom. As soon as I did, I ran outside. I got to the top of the stairs by the casino and yelled as loud as I could. Hey, guys! I found her, but it's bad! She's in the bathroom in the first-class cabin! Come quick! Or... something like that. Then I went back to the bathroom. Ace, Santa, and Lotus showed up real soon after that. But I guess you two hadn't heard me or something because you didn't show. So I took off down the stairs to look for you. After that, I, I mean, you know the rest, right? Seven, th there's one more thing I'm worried about. What? You stuck one of those plates in between the door and the frame, right? Why did you do that? Come on, didn't I already tell you that? I did it so that the door wouldn't lock. So we could come back to this room? Oh, you think I did it? Well, I don't know. That kind of depends on what you say, doesn't it? For crying out loud. <sighs> Follow me. A closet? Yeah. This is the reason. This safe. We couldn't open it when we were getting through this room. I figured there might be something pretty important. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I figured eventually we might figure out what the numbers are for the safe. And if we did, I didn't want to screw around with door five again. So I put the plate in the exit door so we could get back in that way. You get it now? Yeah. Figured it wouldn't open. Huh? This is... Rust? If there's rust here, that means... Has someone opened the safe? Uh. Huh? 
Maybe there's another clue. Anything that might lead us to discover who stabbed Clover. Behind this door, the ninth man's body is behind there. Maybe I should have another look at it, just in case. Yeah. Oh, the hell. This, this smell is... Oh. Oh. Wait. It's it's gone. His bracelet. It's gone. It was right next to the glasses. But why? Where'd Junpei go? Uh... Mm. Oh, there you are. Were you looking for something in the hallway? Yeah. Did you find something? Uh, no, nothing. What's up? Ah, uh, well, I wanted you to take a look at something. What is it? Clover, <sighs> what was it you wanted to show me? I searched Clover's body again. It's a real shame. She was stabbed once in the back, probably by a knife or something. And I found this. What? I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Oh, that's the... Well, I did borrow one thing. What? I'm opening it. Truth had gone, truth had gone, and truth had gone. Ah, now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. What is this? Some kind of secret code? Hmm, a code. Just our hand, me. What you think? It's top or bottom. says top. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Left is an option. <laughs> All right, we'll go left. You're right. Left is an option. Sinister was a term used in heraldry that meant to the left of the bearer of a coat of arms. The left hand. The left hand. What does the left hand mean? Does the darkness of the sinister hand have something to do with the bracelet? There's two things sticking out on either side of the face. The left and right sides of the face. I don't know. It, he is in college. Left and right. Left and right. Right and left. Truth is gone. Truth gone. Hmm. Truth gone. Maybe those two words.
player picks something at random 50 50. the game gives us some bullshit to justify junpei knowing what the answer is yeah i know Drake said bottom, and that's backwards, so... How about reading them backwards? Gone and truth. Enog and a dirt. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, those aren't even words. I doubt that's what the riddle was trying to say. Wasn't a bad idea, though. Truth, gone, those two words. Switching the sentence around. Gone had truth. <sighs> well, that makes even less sense. Clearly, switching the words isn't going to help. Time for a different idea. Up. Oh. Okay. Maybe there's something about how they sound out loud. Truth. Gone. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Professor Layton, lots of puzzles. They sounded the same in my head. Time for a different. What else could gone and truth mean? I have to look for it. I want to do Danganronpa. That's probably my next series is Danganronpa. And I'll do Ace Attorney too. Truth, of course, means something that is correct, something that's fact. In other words, something that is right. You could then safely assume that gone means left. After all, after someone left, they were gone. But in this case, they clearly refer to their directional homonyms. Then truth equals right, and gone equals left. left and right of the bracelet. These two things sticking out. So if I... Press them in the following... Wait, did it just... One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Huh? Hey, what are those numbers? I didn't catch that number. Yes, I do. Hmm. That number is... Yes, thank you. 
That one gets written down. One four three eight three four two one. One four three eight three four two one. But oh, they'd have given me plenty of chance. One four three eight three four two one. One four three eight three four two one. No, I have not seen it. One. Huh. one to the right. Four to the left. And oh. Bingo. I knew it was for this. Oh, is this some sort of note? Let's see. Fact one. The nonary game was played once for nine years. Fact two. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years. That was Snake. Fact three. It was planned by the following four people. Actually, I played uh, both of them before I played this one. Cradle Pharmaceuticals CEO, Gantaru uh, Hongu, Cradle Pharmaceuticals Chief of Staff, Nagisa Nijisaki, Cradle Pharmaceuticals R&D Supervisor, Teruaki Her Kubota, Majority Shareholder in Cradle Pharmaceuticals, Kagachika Mrs. Shido, I must punish them for the innocent lives they sacrifice. This is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved, I now state the truth. Zero. Huh. Sorry, but do you think you could all come with me? Come with you? I want all of you to go to the big hospital room. Why? There's something I want to be sure of. What do you want to be sure of? I want to know if the person I suspect is really the culprit. Wait, then you're saying... Yeah, I think I've got it figured out. I know who killed Snake and Clover. Anyway, if you could all please move to the big hospital room. I'll explain everything as soon as we get there. I'm not saying I won't. It's five o'clock. We don't have a lot of time left. Let's go. Actually, uh, before we get started, I was hoping you could do something for me. Ace, Seven, and Lotus, could you please place your palms on the red? Hmm? Huh? Why? If we need to get to the shower room, why don't we just... No, we're not going inside. Once you've authenticated, step away from the door. Why? Please, just do it. Or perhaps you don't want to know who killed Snake and Clover. <sighs> Fine. What about you, Ace? Lotus? Very well. Sure. I have this idea. I don't think this device responds to a hand placed on it. It instead reacts to a bracelet being brought close. You don't actually need a hand. I knew it.
<laughs> huh? What was that about? How should I know? Thanks. I appreciate your cooperation. By the way, Ace, would you mind if I asked you something? What is it? Do you know who I am? What? What kind of question? Just answer it, please. Who am I? You're Junpei, of course. Who else would you be? Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Actually, I'm Santa. Wh what? <laughs> the clothes I'm wearing, I borrowed from Junpei. And the clothes he's wearing are mine. We had a little swat. That's ridiculous. Impossible. So, you're saying I'm not Santa? Of course you aren't. Why? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. One plus seven plus eight plus three equals 19. One plus nine would be 10. The digital root would be one. But the four of us just opened door three. You can't possibly be Santa. Your bracelet number isn't three. It's five, right? Huh? huh? You're exactly right. My bracelet number is five. Sorry, Ace. I tricked you. Of course I'm not really Santa. I'm Junpei. Who could possibly think I was? <laughs> it's obvious I'm not. Th to think I was? Ridiculous. But I guess you couldn't see just how obvious it was. <sighs> I asked you before, didn't I? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? And you answered. If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. Most people wouldn't say something like that. The first thing that would come to anyone else's mind wouldn't be the bracelet number. There'd only be one thing they'd say. One sentence. You don't have his face. <sighs> Ace, you have prosopagnosia, am I right? Prosopagnosia? What's that? No clue. Prosopagnosia is... Very well, I confess. I have prosopagnosia. I cannot differentiate human faces. Is that what this was about? You want to mock me for my disorder? No, no, not at all. I'm not making fun of you at all. In fact, I feel kind of bad for you. No, the reason I brought this up is that there's an excellent chance that the person who killed Snake has prosopagnosia. What do you mean? I'll just come right out with it. I think it was you, Ace. You killed him. That's ridiculous. What possible evidence do you... I have three pieces of evidence. The first. Think back to a few hours ago. You made us argue over the three doors here in the big hospital room. There was no way all seven people could go through them. Lotus suggested that we sacrifice one of us. <laughs> then you, Ace, said, I'll stay here. Why would you say something like that? It's pretty simple, really. You didn't want us to see the dead body in the shower room. <sighs> you see? If Ace stayed behind, there were only two doors the rest of us could go through. Door 7 and 8. There was no way we could get through door 3, the shower room. You knew that, didn't you, Ace? 
That's why you volunteered to stay behind. Come on now, I think that's going a bit far. I can understand if you're jealous of my bravery, but... Please don't devalue my actions. I only wanted to save the rest of you. Surely you can understand my altruism. Altruism, huh? You already knew, didn't you? You knew that whichever doors we took, eventually we'd end up back in the big hospital room. What on earth are you saying? Of course I didn't know that. How could I have? Really? Yes, yes! <laughs> oh well, that's cool. I've still got two more pieces of evidence that say you're the killer. The second is that, as I said earlier, you have prosopagnosia. Then you mean to imply that a person who can't distinguish human faces must be a bad person? Junpei, they call that prejudice. No, I am not that stupid. Then why? Well, before I explain, I suppose there's something I should tell you. The corpse in the shower room. It's not snakes. What? I didn't put it together right away, but there was something Clover told me. She said that Snake's left arm was prosthetic. He lost his real arm in an accident. But the body we saw in the shower room, let's call him Guy X. Guy X's left arm was definitely flesh and blood. In other words, Guy X couldn't possibly have been Snake. Oh god. No. That's impossible. Let's say, hypothetically, that the killer didn't have prosopagnosia. If that were the case, he would immediately realize that Guy X wasn't Snake. Even if the clothes were the same as Snake's, their faces would be completely different. It would have been obvious they were different people. Sorry this has taken so long, but this is the him. end. Why? Why would they kill a stranger who'd only just shown up? <sighs> On the other hand, if the killer did have prosopagnosia, it makes sense. They thought Guy X was Snake and killed him. Wait. Wait just a moment. Let's say you're right, and I mistook Guy X for Snake. Even if I did, I would have had no motive to kill him. Why would I want to kill Snake? I can think of at least two motives. One, Snake knew about your past. If he ever revealed what he knew, that would have been really bad for you. You really didn't want that to happen. So to make sure Snake's mouth stayed shut, you killed him. <sighs> Two. Snake had a grudge against you. You knew that, or at least you could have easily assumed he did. Even without exposing your identity, he was a threat to you. You never knew when you might be attacked. <laughs> You couldn't ever let your guard down. Every moment was a moment he might try something. You didn't want that kind of danger hanging over you, so you... Hey, hold on a minute. What's the past that Ace wouldn't want us to know? Why did Snake have a grudge against him? Look at this. What's this piece of paper? The Nonary game was played once before nine years ago. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. It was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO Gentaro Hongo. What is this? It's the message from Zero. 
It was in the safe in the first class cabin. Give me a break! That paper is a lie! Someone is trying to frame me! Me. You said me, right? <gasps> Wouldn't that mean... You're admitting you're Hongul? The CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals? Or am I mistaken? Very well. I admit that much. I am certainly the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceutical. Gentaro Hongo. So what if I am? I don't know anything about this nonary game that supposedly took place nine years ago. Everything on that scrap of paper is bullshit. Someone is trying to set me up, you see? First of all, first of all, Junpei, you're claiming I did this all by myself. Think that over, all right? How could I have killed Snake all by myself? Not Snake. It was Guy X. I don't care who it was! You said the killer put this other man into door three, right? Yeah, maybe. Then I couldn't have possibly done that alone. Alright. Love you. I couldn't have opened door three with only myself and Guy X. Nope. You could have. <laughs> What? Actually, Ace, when you were unconscious, I took something from you. Remember when you were injected with that anesthetic and fell asleep in the big hospital room? Yeah, back then, I took this. No! You couldn't have! I got you, Ace. Your right hand there tells me all I needed to know. You want to tell me what you were so worried about? What's in your pocket? <clears throat> it's the number nine bracelet, isn't it? <clears throat> Ace, Guy X, and the ninth man's bracelet. That was all you needed to open door three. That's how you killed Guy X all by yourself, Ace. All you needed was the number nine bracelet in your chest pocket. If you want to play innocent, that's fine by me. Go ahead, tell me. I don't have the bracelet, if that's what you want to do. But if you could take off your coat and hand it to me, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll have to take it from you by force. Right, Seven? Yeah, it'd be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Junpei. As you so correctly deduced, I have the number nine bracelet. <laughs> I retrieved it while we were searching for the missing hardware for the red. I left the room I was supposed to search and headed to the first-class cabin on B-Deck. My purpose was to obtain the number nine bracelet. Nine is a potent ally in the nonary game. Adding nine to any set of numbers won't alter the digital route. As you can see, nine is a very useful number here. With it, one can go anywhere with anyone. It is, I suppose you could say, a game changer. So I made for the first class cabin to obtain it. In mere moments, I successfully acquired the number nine bracelet. There was also an unexpected bonus. The knife the ninth man had used. I quickly pocketed both of them and left. I made my way back to where I was expected to be. That's when I ran into Snake. Well, this guy X, actually. 
I spotted him ahead of me. He was heading for the large hospital room and hadn't noticed me. The man wearing Snake's clothes arrived at door three. When he stopped, I walked up behind him and called out. Snake. He turned around. He said nothing. His mouth simply hung half open. He seemed dazed somehow, almost like a man half asleep. Perhaps he had been drugged. It wasn't important. I tend to gloss over little things like that. I was certain that man was Snake. I knew Snake had taken part in the Nonary game nine years ago. Being blind, it made sense that he didn't recognize me immediately upon our first meeting. But why then hadn't Snake said anything to me later? Surely he hadn't forgotten what had happened to him in the Nonary game. But not once did he attempt to confront me. Did his lack of sight prevent him from fully recognizing who I was? Or perhaps Snake had conspired with Zero to deceive me? Regardless, he was a threat, and it was better to deal with him sooner rather than later. I had to get rid of him before he took action. With quick thinking, my plan went into motion immediately. I held the number nine bracelet over the red. I waved my own bracelet in front of the red, and then grabbed Snake's arm and shoved his hand against the scanner panel. The door opened. I threw the man through it. <laughs> Nine seconds later, the door shut. Oh, I agree. He shouldn't be admitting to any of this. Passed. After that, I returned to my post as though nothing had happened. After conducting my own search, I returned to the large hospital room when the 1 a.m. bell rang. <sighs> Ace. Did you kill Clover? Yes. Why? Why did you kill her? She was Snake's sister. It was possible he had told her something dangerous. Additionally, she had gone through door one. It seemed likely she might have found it. Found what? Why don't you go through door one yourself? Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. Yeah, but Lotus and I went through door one, too. We didn't see anything suspicious. Yes. I thought as much after I heard your report on the central stairs. I doubt the two of you could find it. Hmm? Huh? But perhaps Clover was different. Perhaps she had found it. I was, therefore, desperate to find her. And at last I did, in the first-class cabin. I spoke very calmly. Did you, did you see, see it? it? See what? Don't, don't act, act as if you don't understand. understand. You were in the, the captain's, captain's quarters, quarters, weren't you? Uh-huh. What are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? Hmm. Very well. Uh, By the way, what are you doing here, Clover? What? Uh, nothing. There's blood on your shoes. It looks fresh. Did you go take a look at the ninth man's corpse? I see. Your silence suggests that you noticed. You saw something, didn't you? You saw that his bracelet was gone. No! You aren't going anywhere.
You're staying here. No! <laughs> Don't you run, little girl. That was how I killed Clover. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <gasps> I admit it. I've lost. I have lost. Completely and utterly. Don't misunderstand, Junpei. Oh, I know. I didn't lose to you. I lost to Zero. Not you. <sighs> I'm rather disgusted with myself for falling into such a simple trap. I looked the fool. And it was a trap, make no mistake. I was trapped and manipulated by Zero. The man I killed in the shower room? If he wasn't Snake, then I have no idea who he was. But he was wearing Snake's clothes. And that was no coincidence. He had also been injected with something that reduced his cognition and prevented him from identifying himself or resisting me. And we can't forget the components that were removed from the red before we arrived. I have no doubt that Zero planned all of this. Zero made sure I would kill that man. It follows, of course, that Zero knew everything I would do. That I would try to take the number nine bracelet. That I would try to kill Snake. Everything. Punish them. Innocent lives they sacrifice. Does the only one. That innocent souls might be saved, I now state. I think Zero is one of us. Huh? No, he hates. Zero is one of us? No, wait. There's one more person. Snake. The man who died in the shower room isn't Snake. That means he's almost certainly still alive. Maybe Snake is Zero. Maybe he made Guy X wear his clothes so that we'd all think he was dead. Where's Snake now? What if he's off somewhere, laughing at us? If he is Zero, he must have been lying to us about everything else. Is he watching us? Well, I believe I've finished with my confession. Why don't we get moving? What the hell is this shit?! You aren't going anywhere, you son of a bitch! We're gonna leave your ass here to rot! Why? Because I killed Clover? That's ridiculous. Why are you so upset that I killed the little bitch? She was nothing to you. A stranger you only met a few hours ago. Am I wrong? You bastard! Blindsiding me with a punch, huh? You've got some fire, don't you? I confess, I rather like a tough woman. Well, maybe you'd like another one, then. Uh, before that, let me give you one of my own. Huh? If any of you so much as blink, I won't hesitate to pull this trigger. I've already killed two, no, three people. Don't think I'm not ready to make a fool. Three people? What do you mean? 
Hmm. Very well. Let me take this opportunity to illuminate you. The person who killed the ninth man was me. Although I suppose to be more accurate, I encouraged him to get himself killed. <sighs> While we were examining the main staircase, he came to me and told me his name. I recognized it at once, so I gave him a little push, just a little white lie. It seems, it seems the, settings the settings for the dead, dead were altered. altered. Now, it now it only requires, requires a single, single person, person to deactivate, deactivate the detonator in the bracelet. bracelet. Investigate, Investigate what's beyond door five. five. We'll meet again later. later. And with that, Okay, have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye. Why is it stopping? God damn it! You, you lied! Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Uh, oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! It was him! He killed me! It was him! I had four reasons for killing him. As I said before, in the Nonary game, the number nine bracelet is of utmost importance. If I had allowed him to keep such a useful tool, he, or it, would have become a threat to me. As such, I decided that he should be eliminated early on. I wanted the number nine bracelet. If I could manage to obtain it, I would be able to manipulate the game as I saw fit. I would be unable to acquire the bracelet unless its owner was dead. That's the second reason. Even setting aside his number, he would have been nothing but trouble for me. Yeah, I know, right? If only the ninth man had said a name. He was aware of my past. He knew what happened here nine years ago. It was important that I eliminate him before he was able to disseminate this information. Lastly, I wished to conduct a simple test. A test to see if this nonary game was serious or a poor attempt at a joke. I needed to be quite sure. As such, I encouraged him to act against the rules so that I might observe the outcome. I don't get your third motive. What the hell happened nine years ago? Didn't I say? The nonary game was played. I planned it out, and I conducted its execution. Why? What on earth was it supposed to do? I don't really think I have any obligation to tell you that. Hey, what's with this gun? Where did he get this? Why don't you tell her, Santa? On the other side of door six, we found the gun in the coffin in the cargo room, right? Bastard must have grabbed it when we weren't looking. Indeed, I did. That was a pretty serious mistake, you know. Just saying you intended to leave it behind. Well, there isn't much time left. I'll be off then. Well, where are you going? Do I really need to explain? I had assumed it would be obvious. I have the number nine bracelet. And now I have Lotus. Isn't there a door with a nine on it in the room that looked like a church? That's where you're going, isn't it? And 
how do you know that? Santa told me about it while we were looking for Clover. I see. Well, you are correct. That is my destination. But now I must say goodbye to all of you. Ah, and please, don't forget my warning. Move and I'll pull the trigger. I don't need her alive to open the door, you know. Shit! He's getting away! We can't risk it. Now, Lotus, open the door for me if you would. <laughs> Goodbye. Damn it! Uh... Hey, June, what happened? Are you all right? Jesus, you're burning up. Your fever's back. Are you okay? I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. You should be worrying about Lotus. But... Jumpy, don't worry about me. I just need a little rest. I'll be fine. Don't you remember? I just needed to rest a little bit last time. So please, please save Lotus. Think about what Ace has already done, Junpei. When he's got what he needs from Lotus, you really think he's just gonna let her walk away? Damn it. You guys go on ahead. As soon as June starts feeling better, we'll follow you. Go! Huh. Oh, all right. Come on, Seven. We're going after Ace. Hell yeah! Santa, you take good care of June. I'm trusting you. Got it. Let's go! I've always hated Ace. Where are they? I don't see them. You think they already went through? Maybe. Let's check the red. Engaged. It's occupied. That means Ace and Lotus went through here. Yeah, it seems like it. What do we do now? That's what you said. Yeah, what should we do? Well, the big door is still vacant, but... The two of us can't do anything with it. Yeah, not even counting how our digital route isn't nine. W what's that sound? It's coming from over there. The coffin. Yeah. Let's open it. How? By force! I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> well, you never know till you try, right? The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer 1,000 failures. Who said that? <sighs> I, I forget. <laughs> anyway, we've gotta try. Damn it! See? Didn't I tell you? If you could just pull it open, why would it have something like that? Right. So unless I put in the right passcode, it's not gonna open. Was there some sort of clue somewhere?
Hey, Junpei. I remember you mumbling about some weird numbers over by the bathroom in the first class cabin. You got those numbers by solving the secret message Clover was holding, right? Truth had gone, or something like that. Yeah, that's right. What about it? Well, maybe that number's the passcode for this thing, too. Come on, that's impossible. Those numbers were the code to unlock that safe. Yeah, but the person who set up that safe in this coffin is the same person, right? Zero set up both of these. Yeah, probably. Well, then they might have set the same passcode for both of them. That's ridiculous. Why don't you just try it? I mean, it's not like you'll make things any worse. It'd just be a waste of time. There's no way they're the same number. How do you know that? You never know until you try. The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer a thousand failures. <sighs> Who said that? You. Uh, fine. One four three eight three four two one. It opened. What? You got to be kidding me. Snake, you why? Ah, those voices, Junpei and Seven, unless I'm mistaken. Where are the others? Are they elsewhere? Uh... <clears throat> hmm. I see. I believe I got the gist of everything. Have I been sufficiently caught up? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry, this is way going over. explain why you were trapped in here. We've still got no clue about Zero's true identity, let alone why the hell he's doing all this. Why did he put Guy X in Snake's clothes? Is all this stuff somehow related to that notary game that was played nine years ago? I know. Hmm. Hey, Snake, do you know anything? Um, what are you talking about? I apologize, but I have no idea what you're saying. I may just save it here because I really thought we were going to get the end of it. And we will play it again. It's super effective. I know, it's long. I don't... Yeah, it's the console version. I have it on PC, too. And I've platinumed it on... Well... I've gotten all the Steam achievements on. But I haven't gotten all the... Uh... I haven't done it at all on the console. Oh. Oh. Can I read? Can I read? gonna say uh we're gonna raid we're gonna raid shard we were collabing with
I should have stopped an hour ago. I thought we were gonna get to the ending. I love you guys. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, probably with Dragon's Dogma. I might, if I can, if I'm talked into it, finish this up tomorrow. I'll think about it. The plan is Dragon's Dogma. We'll see when I'm in the mood. Until then, I'll see you lovely people tomorrow. Have fun. Don't have too much fun. Or at least don't get in trouble. I will talk to you folks tomorrow.